Hello my fellow admins and welcome to another episode of Jira Guides. Void.admin here and in this video I'll show you how to create bulk issues in Jira uh, with Python REST API. So uh, let's start. So as you can see on the screen we have uh, a small uh, Python script that will be used in this video in order to create uh, uh, bulk issues in Jira, like multiple issues in one click. But uh, before uh, going through the the script created, I want to you to show uh, like to make an assumption on how you can use this kind of script. So for example, uh, Jira out of the box doesn't have like a bulk issue creations. Like you you don't have this option in Jira. So for example, you can only create uh, from the user interface. Uh, a single task issue type or ho however you want to call it and you need to fill in the uh, the mandatory fields and so on so basically uh, let's say that I will provide you like an example use case that I, I encountered before so for example uh, let's say that you have a test environment and in that test environment uh, you don't have like enough issues in order to do like a stress test or something like this as you can see here I I'm in the in a project in a uh, in my scrum based project. So in this project, I want to create, for example, 20 issues with uh, using like one click. Before you start creating uh, this kind of script, uh, Python uh, script, you need to have this uh, Atlassian Python API package. You need to import it uh, to your IDE. And after that, you need to uh, basically import uh, from Atlassian. This is the package and you need to import uh, uh, the variable, the function, the function Jira, uh, as you will use it uh, to uh, to access the Jira URL. You need to provide like the username and uh, uh, so on uh, functionalities in this uh, in this script. So uh, basically, uh, make sure like first step is to um, is to have Python version three plus installed. After that, you need to install. Uh, pip and upgrade it and afterwards you need to uh, to upgrade the setup tools wheel and after that you need to install this package atlassian python api and after that you need to add it to, into your ide so this is like a uh, uh, adding your package to your uh, pycharm in order to use it in the in the console in the script console so now uh, after you did that, I also provide the steps in the in the description of this video in order to be more clear on how you can proceed. But I don't want to go through uh, every step by step in this documentation. And this could take uh, a long time, and we don't want to have this video like 30 minutes, right? So what I have here in the first line, as I said, I imported Jira from Atlassian package, and the second line is uh, I imported my password uh, from the password. Uh, uh, Python file because like for the purpose of this video I don't want to, you to see my password so I didn't want to change my password only for this video so basically I created a, a, py, a new uh, py, uh, Python um, file and there I, I give a variable uh, for password Jira and I provided like a string a password string but uh, in this case you don't need this second line for your script uh, as you can type here your password but for example if you are uh, creating uh, uh, this Python script or any other Python script using this package Atlassian package maybe you will want also to create another file with your password so maybe you you can give or I don't know like let's say maybe you don't want your colleagues to see your password right so uh, for example uh, we define here like Jira in uh, this Jira functionality that we imported here function and we need to give the URL of uh, so basically this is the uh, link from your Jira so basically here you need to add add this link to your Jira in order to uh, to to access your Jira using your pass your uh, username and password in order to create these uh, issue types uh, these bulk issue types so for uh, for the sixth line we have the username and we need to provide it the, uh, to provide the exact username in a string as I did it here and for the password this is actually a string but it's defined in the other in the other uh, password.python uh, file so basically here you can uh, put 
the same uh, definition as above uh, in uh, in strings and you can type the password here it's no need for you to import it from uh, from other file but you can do it like this and uh, the next line is the uh, verify ssl so uh, in some cases this could, this could be required uh, depending on your like if you're working on a virtual machine if you're working i don't know maybe you have some re restrictions from your uh, your company and you need to uh, verify it with uh, ssl so uh, if you're let's say that you want to uh, pull, uh, to run this script on production i guess you'll need to use uh, uh, to verify the ssl and you need a document for that and but if you are working on a test environment like who cares like you can uh, give it to false and as i said here this is not required but in case you get the ssl error when you're running the script you'll need to put it here like the verify ssl false and the next uh, the next function is like for example uh, to create bulk issues we need a loop right and this for does exactly uh, what we need so for example for x in range in range this is a python thing like if you're uh, knowledgeable with uh, with python you will know this function and in range basically you, you can give like a uh, a number on how many loops uh, uh the script will do so for example if i type in here 10 it will do uh, do 10 loops and we'll create will uh will uh, run this uh, this functionality this function uh 10 times and will create 10 tickets but if i uh, provide it here like 100 it will create 100 tickets but i'll uh, just uh, uh, leave it as uh, 20 this will create 20 tickets and inside here in this inside this four we have the uh, function jira that is um uh, uh, that it's uh, defined it here uh, dot uh, issue create fields this is something from the uh, imported jira from a Thlassian package so it was it was defined in other packages it wasn't defined in this uh, particular uh, scripts field so here we, we define the fields so we have like uh, you you can uh, think of a map kind of a map because for each uh, field we give like uh, for example a, a value so for example here we have the project field but the project field also has a key that uh, we need to give it a value so for example we have the key defined here but we need to give a key so in this uh, string we need to uh, give add your project key here basically you need to uh, switch this and add your uh, uh, basically your key we have it scrum for our project so i'll i will uh, introduce it here as a value and the next one is issue type of course issue type has a name and you need to give it a name my name uh, my uh not my name <laughs> issue type name is task and you need to add your issue type na name here so basically you also have summary you type the summary here in a string we have youtube python rest api here as a string also for this description is the same you define the description as the name of the description and you place the description as you want it here and uh, I have two more examples for you to understand uh, how this is working. So for example, uh, the first custom field, this 10,500 is a single line text field. So in this, uh, uh, we added like a simple string test text string. And the next custom field, it's a single select option custom field. So it's uh, something as a type of project if you want to uh, understand like uh, the map here like you have uh, the custom field but for this you have a value because it's a single line uh, select field you have a drop down and you need to select from there a value so this this is ba basically the definition of a, uh, a single select uh, custom field you have the value defined here as you have the key for project here and you we give the value as second option this is like the uh, uh second option that is defined in the it's the a value of that specific option in the single select just not to be uh, uh confused here if we run now the script this script it will create 20 issues inside this project of type task and it will uh, add uh, these the values that we define it here so basically uh, what we need to do here is to uh, right click on the in the script console and you have this run bulk issues bulk issues is the name of the python file so if i run it now it will create basically 20 issues with the same summary basically with the same name and you have here in the 
in the uh, in the console you have actually the the log here that it will uh, so it runs the the file the python file and after that it gives you the message for each uh, issue that creates and it's giving you the message creating issues and the summary of it and the process is finished and now if we refresh this we'll see that uh, we created basically 20 issue types and we can go in search for issues to be more visible and if we give like for example summary uh, in and let's say that we want YouTube so as you can see oh and yeah and uh, project equals scrum base as we need the project as we uh, created these bulk issue types in uh, the scrum base project as we give it the, uh, the project key so as you can see here if we search uh, by the jql we have here 20 uh, issue types created like one minute ago so basically you have here a, a method on how you can create uh, uh, bulk issues in jira using python rest api that was it for this uh, video uh, I'll, you'll also find uh, this script uh, in, uh, in my uh, Git repository and I'll provide all the informations in the link below. But if you have any, any questions regarding uh, uh, this topic or other topics regarding Jira, I also have uh, uh, script runner guides uh, on my channel so you can check them out. And uh, if you enjoy my content, you can... Uh, press the like button like it if you like it and uh, i will really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel this helps me a lot so uh, that was it thank you so much for uh, being here with me with another uh, jira guide and uh, see you in the next video thank you so much peace